Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm filming on my phone right now. It's a bit unexpected. We're actually at Lowe's to get some like moving stuff. They literally like, as we walked in, she's bringing out like, she said three more carts of plants. So I thought we could do like a little plant tour and some of the plants that they already put out are amazing. Also, I'm sorry the light here is so bad, but yeah. Please hit like and subscribe if you like the big box store videos. This one is really exciting. And let's look at the plants together. I had a really stressful day, I'm not gonna lie. I like fully cried earlier, <laughs> like literally just like 20 minutes ago. And then we like come out here and it's just like some of my favorite plants ever. I feel so full right now, like my heart, you know? Here's that first cart she brought in. This is the one she just unwheeled and I actually helped her take the plastic off. So I walked in and just immediately saw the Hoya Carnosa Compacta and they're so healthy. These guys are $14.98. <gasps> oh my gosh, more? Shut up. <laughs> I had such a bad day today. This is so like big happy. We like found out very unexpectedly we had to move. So we're like here to get moving stuff. Oh. And I love plants and so I was just like, this is just so fun. You even have a little Cebu Blue right here. Oh my goodness. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> These are so nice. And then the freaking Hoya Species Affinity Bertonii. Look at this. They look so good. The new guys are like all sun stressed. I was really hoping maybe they would have like a surprise variegated Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Look at this one. They just look so good. I feel like I'm gonna have to get one. Like, look at this, the whole thing. You see how long that top one is? Some Philodendron Heteraceum right there. How cool would it be if the next cart she brought out was just like massive Mikan's baskets? Then we got some big Sansevieri up high. Here we have big golden Pothos baskets. And some Ficus Pumila. Look, what good timing you guys. I just feel so full right now. I had such a bad day today. New plants just make it so much better. We got some uh, manhula or mojito or whatever. Yeah, manhula pothos. I was calling these mojito last time and you guys were like, what the heck? Why are you calling it that? And I was like, I'm sorry. Bilobata. Oh. This is so hard for me. We're literally here to pick up boxes and I'm plant shopping. I really want one of these. I sold mine like a while ago. Look at those new little leaves. Oh my goodness. These dip and bakia are really nice too. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I cannot even stress you guys how big this is. These guys are $24. Oh my goodness, that's huge. It's always good to check the Syngonium for a little Syngonium sports. It's like all Brooke and I did when she was here last. I don't see any, but look at the begonia fedor. Oh my goodness. There's Monstera. We have some ZZs down here. Some really dark Sansevieria, some big Crotons. These Monstera do look pretty nice. But yeah, when we first walked in, sorry, before I got so distracted, I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, they're so nice. And they have tons of them. Like now that they have this new shipment, I mean, there must be probably like 30 Hoya Canosa Compactus here. Some super cute little Phalaenopsis. African Violets, Syngonium to check. I would really like to find a pink flecked again. This guy's cute. This was one I put down when I walked over here, but this I think is probably the nicest one that was here. She wheeled out those new carts. 
still is really nice. But then this is where I saw the Villabada. These ones, I wonder if they were here before, like last week. I didn't see anything about it in the Facebook group. You can see how many there are. Like the Carnosa Compactas and Villabadas are everywhere. This guy is $14.58. There's so many of them. Honestly, I bet if we had the time to look for a sport, we would find one because there's a lot here right now. We're venturing to go look at the other carts because we're running out of time and I think she got busy. Oh, it's Chris's money trees. Christopher's money trees. He wants to get one of these for his stream room. He really likes this plant. The one over here just looks like Bird of Paradise and Yucca. These guys are only 34. Pretty. This was so hiking fun. I had like the worst day today, so all the new plants are just like making my heart go doki doki. We also have a ton of these super healthy fiddle leaf figs. Like those look amazing. These guys are 34. $34, look at them. Uh, oh my gosh, they're glowing. Wow. Sansevieria are really nice too. There's a prop for you. Free prop. It's Chris. You find boxes. Yeah, I figured the snap ones were necessary. You think this will be enough? Uh, yeah. Back here. Yeah, I don't even like think we used seven before. before. Yeah. <laughs> you see the plants? They look really nice. They have a whole thing of money trees. Well, they had a whole thing of money trees, but she hasn't brought them over yet. Today's the day I'm getting here. You think? We'll look when she brings them over. These ones are so healthy. I really want to get one. Portolingus. Yeah, they're very healthy looking. Look at him! He's got a big old dog. <laughs> they have a Cebu Boo, Cebu Blue back there. Cebu Boo. Mr. Guy. I was really hoping we might get variegated ones. Lots of places have like really nice variegated ones that they're getting in right now. Yeah. Couldn't find them? No. Well, they breed them variegated on purpose. We just haven't gotten any shipments of them. I think Boise's just a smaller city, so they don't send them here. Nope. That's a splash, though. It's a little splashy. What a fun, exciting little shipment, dude. I love this one. They smell so nasty, but they are so fun. No, that leaf is just dying. Our search has commenced, you guys. Taking a look. Christopher is on a on a life path. Cute. They're also pretty. Yeah, but it's pretty pretty low. Any plant can do that, right? It's just about finding plants that have like the capacity, or you know what I mean. This one is really nice. <laughs> he wants one so bad, it's so cute. He's never liked a plant before like this. Yeah, they're cool. He says, I need more light. People find them a lot at Trader Joe's. Look, it's the start of a throwing hands. <laughs> so cute. It really is Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is where people find them a lot. I swear this is it, it's not, that's leaf miner. You can tell because you can see through it on the other side. Like that's something eating through it. Variegation doesn't like decrease the density of a leaf, you know? Yeah, I freaked out the other day when I saw that. I was like, did I actually just find one? But then I was like, nope, it is not. It looks cool, but yeah, it's leaf so miner. Good. Yeah, it really sucks that that's just damage because it looks so pretty, <laughs> right? 
looks like the thing. Yeah. Also, because we've seen it on so many plants, like you can just know that that's not variegation because you'd never find a batch of variegated plants like that. Mm. Like ever. <laughs> yeah, you have the luck. You are. I think you're pretty lucky, but luck comes from skill. If you guys didn't know, the money tree is where um, throwing hands came from. Because he's literally throwing hands. Like, what, that's he's going. He's uh, Italian. He said. <laughs> All right, Chris, I don't see any. It's a Trader Joe. It's a Trader Joe. Why do you want a variegated money tree so bad? You said it was rare, like finding rare things. <laughs> you and everyone else. Like they're huge, like stand next to one, so first scale. Yeah, they're big. It's a chimeric uh, sport variegated plant. It's like finding a variegated monstera. I feel like you find some. I don't, but also like it's all I do. Like I go to plant stores and then I look at plants, you know? Could look through every single one of these to try to find one if we wanted to. But it takes a while. I usually come here and I'll put on a podcast and then I'll just search. <laughs> Sounds really fun. Like yeah, I'm finding the, sh the shiny Pokemon basically. Like when we were in uh, Arizona and I found those two, it was because I searched through 300 different Monstera. Yeah, stuff like this it doesn't really seem that like rare. Yeah, well that's just like, that's pattern gene, yeah, right? Yeah, one has to be like This that. is also pattern gene, so is this. Pattern gene. You're looking for the hardest type of variegation to find there, buddy. Chris, this is why people get into plants, you know, they find something like this and then it consumes them. It's fun. Going to the store with you. Yeah. It's very good <laughs> that one in the middle, I think, is the prettiest out of all of them. Yeah. Well, I think I got all the boxes we need. Is cool. The plants I, I like these ones. <laughs> so I can get them. Yeah. We've sure. we've made the group choice. This is exciting for me. Big excitement. This is a staghorn. I don't know which one this one is. You guys, I'm so excited. Hey guys, I didn't really make it outro for this video, but I just want to say welcome to the end of the video fun stuff and thank you so much for watching this video. Welcome to the new channel members, Victoria Fox, Sarah Max, and Laura E. And thank you so much for the extra channel support to Liliana Ramos, Kim Klanowski, Ashley's Planties, Cole M, Houseplant Heather, Carissa Lawrence, All the Green Places, and Botanicas. And today's extra special comment shout out goes to Mad Towers, who has been a member for three months and a public subscriber for five months. Months. They said, ha ha ha, I love this video. I feel the exact same way about Dracaena and Crotons. I don't know why I don't like them, but they just give me the ick. I totally agree, Mads. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video, liking, subscribing, leaving comments, and engaging with my content in general. I will see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye.